What would Peter and Reid do in a similar situation if one of the players was saying, well, I'm going, you know, I, I, I want to move out of here. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You know, the fans would back Peter Reid. Sure. But they're not uh, backing Rafa. Mm. Well, he knows why they're not backing him, but he doesn't help his argument because his team at the moment isn't very good. So I, I, I think he's right to make the observations. I think ultimately if there's a disconnect between a player's mentality and an expectation... And what I like about what Benitez just said there is I don't want to be 10th. He's basically discrediting Dean by saying, you were 10th last year, sit down and listen to what I've got to say because I've been brought in to make you better than 10th. The argument, unfortunately, falls down when you're sitting sick from bottom in the league. Um, and obviously on the way out, as I'm sure we'll touch on in a minute, yeah. the players added an observation back whilst blowing kisses at Everton fans yeah. and making sure that as much of the adversity that he can pile on to with Benitez while saying he's not prepared to do that and it's beneath him, he precisely goes and does that. So you get the horse you're backing in this one really to an extent is Rafa. Totally. Um, I'm not, you know, no my view on Rafa Benitez, but he's the manager and he's the guy. If you've brought him in, I wouldn't bring Rafa Benitez into a club because I've made my views on him very clear. Hmm. But if you've got him there, then you've got to say that he is the guy that you back and I would back the manager over the player every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Well, I'll tell you what you do is when you don't like something in life, sometimes you have to power on through it or find a way to overcome it, not blame it for an ultimate outcome. That's nonsense, a love affair. What Rafa Benitez's observation was you finished 10th in the league there. You can have that love affair all year if you want. That's not what I've come here to do. And of course you get personality clashes. Of course you get people that have different views. And of course you'll hear stories about Rafa Benitez that at times has a way of operating. But he's the manager. And this notion that you've signed a contract because you're in some love affair, you could sign a contract because it was suited you to sign that contract and that contract benefited you. You didn't sign it out of the goodness of your heart. And whilst he might be a good player, but conventional thinking also suggests that he isn't the greatest defender in the world. So maybe he goes and fills a gap at Aston Villa because they're going to play in a certain way. But if defensive questions are asked, maybe they'll come up short. He's a well, good player. No doubt about he's a good player. Well, he's, he's seemingly he's quite emotionally wounded by what's happened here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he says, crying. everything must come to an end. I just did not expect it to end this way. What has happened is some things that were said about me in the last month has made me very sad. Okay. Well, I mean, look, we're none of us are privy to what has actually gone on. But if I'm assuming, I mean, people have conflicts of personality and they don't get on. And it happens in all walks of life. And in this instance, it's happened at Everton with a player. And we, neither one of us know who's at fault here. Whether Benitez could have handled it better, whether the player could have handled it better. But when you get these sort of sideways swipes from players on the way out and whilst they're saying they're not going to do it they actually go and do what they say they're not going to do look I think Benitez is many things but I don't think he's a fool and I think he would think and he talked about egos there Benitez made a conversation about egos and there's a there's a veiled message there Yeah, I think that Benitez if there was a reasonable opportunity to advance the team with Lucas Dean in it and the bigger picture would have been better served by Lucas Dean in it Lucas Dean in it I think Benitez would have found a way to fix it. But clearly, he didn't think the team was going to be that enhanced by Luca Dean. Now, of course, the argument's going to rage in from Everton fans. We're sick from bottom in the league. We're sick, and that will be always be the grain of sand in Benitez's shoe until such a time as he fixes it and starts climbing up that mountain. That's right. Um, but, you know, I don't like players... That, that have these little you know you know what you didn't like it you moved somewhere else you didn't want to fix it nothing was done to fix it so you've gone off somewhere else zip it up you want to blow a kiss to Everton fans blow a kiss to Everton fans but you don't have to do it with a sideways swipe yeah and I find players like that aren't just a problem in one area they become a problem somewhere else and did, they, you, did you have any players at Palace who had a sideways like, swipe at you on the way out not me because I wasn't I, no, no it wouldn't have been because I didn't have a relationship with them the manager had a relationship with them mine was more remote mine was called writing the cheque every single month I didn't want a relationship with players and neither should I have had one so it's really about the relationship with the manager and I saw players absolutely saw players that uh, had sideways swipes at managers didn't, I'm not going to tell you who because he's relevant read the book best selling book again oh no um, again but, 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 but the bottom line is <laughs> Is that is that I think that Everton won't be worse off for this player going. They have got a boy coming from Rangers, who's a player. We'll see. Yeah, and, you know, and I and you know, we'll is see. This is a we- bit of a warning for Villa, actually. Maybe because Lucas could be maybe, problematic. Maybe Stephen Gerrard's a big personality though, and he's yeah, at a different stage in his career. Yeah. And Rafa Benitez got a different set of agendas. Rafa Benitez sits there, in my view, with the belief that he should be in a top four club and believes that he's up there with the top four managers and anything that doesn't get him there he's a little bit resentful he's at a different stage in his career but as you rightly say he's no fool Rafa no he's no fool he's, a, he's an arch manipulator I was going to say something else there but I used the right words I was glad um, but he 
is an, a, a capable manager, just because I don't like the way he operates behind closed doors, doesn't mean he isn't a capable manager. Yeah. And I think Everton, I feel that they've shifted a problem. And what they need is harmony and people that want to be on board. And if this guy doesn't understand his place in a food chain, and his place in a food chain was player, manager. Manager more important than player. Manager's opinion, more important than player's opinion. Yeah. Manager's views, more important than player's views. That's how it should be.